In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the top five free crypto research tools to take your crypto investing to the next level. I believe if you come up with a solid routine that can utilize each of these sites for different parts of your investing and trading, you can make yourself a much more profitable investor. And some of these tools have changed the game for how I personally research crypto. And with the recent addition of ChatGPT plugins, now you can actually use the power of AI to make some of these applications even better. So without further ado, let's get into my list of my top five free crypto tools in no particular particular order. Now, the first one is obvious, it's DeFi Llama. And the reason why DeFi Llama is on this list is because honestly, I believe it's probably the best application in crypto. It's shocking that this is even free. I would pay like two, three, four hundred dollars a month for this. This application is so good and it's literally there for free. Now, it started as a basic tool to just track TVL. And if you go to DeFi and go over to the chain section, it still is a great website where you can actually monitor the TVL flows of different chains. Obviously, TVL TVL telling you where value is flowing. So you can track all the chains, their inflows and their outflows in terms of TVL. If we click on Ethereum here, of course, you will be able to see how its TVL has tracked over time, as well as its changes on the daily and its fees generated as well. But over time, the features have stacked up and I'm just going to run you through a few of my favorite features. But honestly, I could do a one hour video just on DeFi Llama because there are so many features. They added an airdrop section recently. This is the first thing I want to talk about where they actually detail projects that have launched that don't yet have tokens. I found this to be a great place to actually find new crypto airdrops because what you can do is you can actually scroll through this list and every single week, let's say you look through it once a week, look at which projects are launching and then go and do some research into them and see if they are going to be launching a token. For example, you can search up this project, Ellipsis Labs just launched, go to their Twitter and their website, which is linked directly um, on the DeFi Llama, check them out, see if you like them and go and check check um, what they do. So these guys are on Solana, go and look into whether you can use it, whether they might have an airdrop, see what the team said in the Discord, etc. But DeFi Llama now provides that place, that ultimate index of having all these protocols that don't have tokens, but could potentially have airdrops in the future, you know, in one condensed place instead of you having to search for the alpha. So, so I put this as part of my routine. Once a week, I just go through DeFi Llama. I see if there's any cool projects launching. Most weeks, there's nothing, but then occasionally I might find something amazing and, and I might be able to go, oh, this is launching on layer zero. If I interact with this protocol, maybe I'll not only get an airdrop for this, but I'll also be able to qualify for layer zero and kill two birds with one stone. So you find some amazing things through this um, airdrop section as well. Now I want to go through the fork section just quickly. This actually shows the major forks of some of the biggest dApps in crypto. For example, if you click on GMX, um, you'll actually see a lot of the other perp dexes that have started to launch. And this is this is really cool, especially during periods where you have certain narratives outperforming. Um, for example, when the, the perp dex thing was performing, you could have come onto this dashboard to see what other perp dexes were starting to gain steam in terms of their TVL change. And if there were particular dexes that were gaining TVL very quickly, that could have been an indicator as to protocols that were starting to gain a little bit of traction on the back of the DEX narrative. And the same thing happened for, you know, the solidly fork narrative. And if, if back in the day, if this existed back when the tomb forks were out, that probably would have get, given you a lot of opportunities to, you know, farm those tomb forks back in the day. And really, this is just a, a cool new feature. Now, I could go on this for days. Um, but the last thing I want to show you that I think is really cool is actually the fees section. So if you click on fees slash revenue in the dashboard, it's going to show you which chains are actually generating the most cash. You can look and see which protocols are most cash flow positive. Obviously, this is really helpful uh, when it comes to actually analyzing protocols and you can see our fees have changed over time. But honestly, everything on DeFi Llama is fantastic. They're coming out with new products all the time. For example, their unlocks now show you when there's going to be token unlocks for a protocol. So you can never get dumped on again if you're monitoring DeFi Llama. So what I do every single day is I go through DeFi Llama. I literally just work top to bottom. I go through each chain. I find new data. I use this as a reference point for finding data um, and I find it to be amazing. Now, one thing I want to show you is actually a ChatGPT add-on that you can use to make DeFi Llama even better. So if you go to ChatGPT and you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, so this part does cost money. Obviously, DeFi Llama is free, but ChatGPT 
ChatGPT4 does cost some money, um, $20 a month. If you do decide to sign up and you click on settings and add plugins, you can actually add um, the DeFi Llama plugin directly to your ChatGPT. And this allows you to ask it prompts. For example, rank projects by generated fees in the last 24 hours and display the results in tables. And what it's going to do is it's going to take data from DeFi Llama and make it into a table for you on ChatGPT. So that solves, so, so that saves you from having to manually compile the data, you know, put it into a spreadsheet, work out the percentages. It'll automatically do it for you. And what you can also do using ChatGPT is ask it a bunch of follow-up prompts to go deeper on specific ecosystems. So I can ask it to rank um, by chain, for example, Arbitrum, etc. So I did a video on how to use DeFi Llama and ChatGPT together. I will link that in the description if you're interested in watching that. It's a full tutorial um, with all the prompts in the description, but I thought I'd just give you an example there for the context of this video. So DeFi Llama is pretty much my number one pick. I said this video is not in order, but to be honest, it is in order because DeFi Llama is probably just the best website in crypto ever. Number two is June Analytics. Now, June Analytics, I think is quite underrated because there's not a lot of people use this, I don't think, but I pretty much use it every single day. And you probably notice if you watch my shows, I constantly refer to this. Now, what June Analytics is, is it's a website that enables people to create their own scripts and publish data. It's basically become the community hub of crypto research. Every serious researcher posts their research on June Analytics if it's quantifiable using code. So what you can simply do is go onto the Discover tab on June Analytics and you can see which data sets are trending. Oftentimes, these will be relating to narratives that are trending. For example, you know, LSD is trending, um, Layer 0 is trending, and you can actually go and pull up the dashboard here. Now, I could spend hours on June Analytics breaking down statistics from different narratives, but basically there's a search function. So if you want to search dashboards for, uh, for DEXs, you can search. If you want to learn about gains network in more detail, you can search it. If you want to learn about GMX in more detail, you can search it. Basically, any big topic is going to have a dashboard. It's so amazing. And I'm just going to show you a few just to give you an idea of what June can do. This is the Ethereum staking dashboard. This basically shows you the ETH staking ratio and the staking ratio of the LSD participants such as Lido, Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, Rockapool, and Frax. You can see the entities that hold the most staked Ethereum, the ETH stakers ordered by amount staked. You can see changes in flows over time. ETH stakers, one month change, net flows, etc. I mean, this is just an example for LSD specifically, but you can basically get statistics that are this in-depth for basically any topic using the search function. So I urge you, get into the habit whenever you're researching a niche, a token, let's say you're researching Solana, let's say you're researching L1s, let's say you're researching L2s, go into June and simply search L2 and start looking at some of the stats. Okay, we can look at bridge stats for L2s here. We can actually see ZK Sync um, has had an uptick in bridges. Why is that? Well, is that because they have an airdrop? Probably, and there's lots of alpha you can extract through this. Starknet, um, how is that tracking in comparison to ZK Sync? Arbitrum, Optimism, there's lots you can do, and that's just giving you an example on the fly, but there is a, a multitude of dashboards for different topics, and it's absolutely amazing. One other thing it's really good for is airdrop. So if you actually look at layer zero, it's tracking the top 25 layer zero wallets by ranking score. So that's transaction count um, factored in with bridging amount in dollars to actually give you a score based on where different participants of the layer zero network rank in terms of getting an airdrop. So this could be really cool for those airdrop farmers out there that actually want to track wallets. So you can do this for, you know, any chain you want to get an airdrop for, but you could simply, um, you know, take this wallet, for example, that's ranking super highly on layer zero. And you can enter this into a website like DBank, for example, actually search up their wallet and you can get more details on what they're doing. Where are they bridging? What dApps they're using? And you can almost follow the top airdrop hunters just by using the data from DBank um, in confluence with June Analytics. So that's just one tip you can use for airdrops, but there's honestly so much stuff you can do using June Analytics. So that is why it's number two on my list here, um, because it, it's a fantastic protocol and you should probably use it every single day of your crypto research. Now, my number three tool is actually an AI project, and this is KyberSwap, who's just launched 
their Kyber AI. So this is a machine learning dashboard that gives you real time insights that can help you with your trading, especially if you're a trader and you, you're interested in picking altcoins based on altcoins that are gaining in steam or losing steam. This is a great momentum indicator for you. Now, KyberSwap is an official partner of the AI show over on the channel. So I want to give a, a big shout out to KyberSwap and say, if you do want to sign up for the beta, there is a link in the description to sign up. I'm going to run you through the platform quickly just to show you a little bit about what you can do. So if you head into the ranking section here, you're going to get a dashboard that basically shows you all the different sections of Kyber AI. So let's start from left to right. If you go into the bullish section, this is going to show you the altcoins that are looking most bullish in terms of their Kyber score. Now, the Kyber score is a proprietary index powered by AI, which is used to measure the upcoming trend of a token by taking into account multiple on and off chain indicators. Zero is the lowest score, so that would be a very bearish score, and 100 is the highest score, that would be a very bullish score. And you can actually see every four hours the change in momentum from bullish to bearish based on activity that is happening on chain. So in the bullish section, we can see how BCH is tracking. It's very bullish. We can actually see that it's swung bullish. It was starting to look bearish for a few hours, but it's been strongly bullish for the last half a day or so. And we can actually scroll down into the on-chain analytics dashboard down here and see the types of trades and the number of trades, so buying and selling happening in on-chain over a period of time, which is going to indicate momentum here. So you can search up any token on Kyber AI and actually find out what is happening on chain. Are people starting to position themselves on the buy side or the sell side? And this can be a great indicator for you of if momentum is starting to build. You can also click on their technical analysis tab and get technical analysis that is powered by AI to give you these key structural levels. So if you're not the best TA person, um, this is actually going to give you key levels to look out for on your chart. So that is really cool as well. And you can also scroll down and see some of the live trade that are happening. So the whales that are buying and selling uh, BCH on chain. And as I said, you can do this for any token. If we want to look at the gains network token, we could search up GNS on Arbitrum. We could see it's looking kind of bullish at 91.6. And we can scroll down to its on-chain analysis and look at the total trades, buys, sells over specific time frames. You can toggle this a day, a week, a month, three months, depending on what time frames you like to trade on. And if you look at the three-month graph here, you're going to see trends that are developing over periods of time. This can be really handy if you're more of a swing trader. So that is just the ranking section from the bullish perspective, but you can also look at bearish tokens if you're interested in shorting, which tokens are losing momentum. You can look at which tokens have had the most centralized exchange positive net flow and also the most negative net flow. That can give you an indicator as to whether people are buying or selling as well. Also, this is really cool. This is the currently trending tab at the very end. This is going to show you tokens that are currently very popular on the site um, and the rankings here are updated every four hours. So it can show you sometimes before price pumps happen, which tokens are starting to garner momentum. So I think Kyber AI is your ultimate momentum gauging website. That's very valuable for traders. So whenever I'm trading a token, I search it on Kyber AI. I see what is happening on chain. I look at the Kyber score. I see what the sentiment is and that can help me make better investing decisions. So once again, if you do want to access Kyber AI, it isn't available to all of the public right now, but you can sign up for the beta using the link in the description only which is going to give you access before everyone else. And I'm sure this product's only going to get better and better over time. Um, but it's been a very cool addition to my crypto tools list. Link in the description if you want to check that one out. All right, number four on my list is one I actually mentioned before I alluded to it, and that's DBank. I mean, what website does a better job at just giving you a nice interface to actually be able to track on-chain activity? Now, the example I gave you before was looking at airdrops from June and copying them in to DBank and looking at them. That's just one example. But you can basically do anything here. DBank is your ultimate portal to tracking the top players in crypto. So there is a, a Twitter account called Look on Chain, which posts a lot of the smart money accounts. So it finds wallets and posts wallets that are doing exceptionally well with trading. I find what's an amazing thing to do is whenever I find an account that's had some exceptional trades or, you know, it's hit a winning streak or, you know, is doing amazing on airdrops, I enter them into DBank and I click enter. I actually go on chain and track their trades to see how they're tracking, see what tokens they're holding. We'd see this guy, for example, is a meme coin trader. And what you can do is when you enter in addresses, you can actually follow them, right? If you click the follow 
If you click the follow button, it's actually going to add them to your follow list, which is on your profile. Now I'm logged in with another wallet now, so I don't have a profile, but if you ha if you are logged in, you can actually build up your following list, which means if you go to the home page, you can scroll through just like you'd scroll through a Twitter feed um, of wallets that you actually follow. Now, this is an amazing thing to do every day because once you find a list of wallets that, you know, you kind of like tracking, let's say it's a mix of, you know, alpha wallets, people that are really good at airdrops, people that are good at trading, people that like meme coins, you can start to see what they're doing. And it's very interesting to see what some of the top trading accounts are actually doing on chain because a lot of the most smart um, and alpha packed traders out there, they actually trade on chain and not just on centralized exchanges. So I think DBank is your ultimate tool, not only to you know track other people, but also track yourself. Um, it's very good to have everything condensed in one place where you can view all your assets just from the DBank um, portal. So you can view you know the assets you've got on Ethereum, BNB, Arbitrum, Phantom, um, Avalanche, etc. And, and you can see how much you hold. And you know I'm looking at this uh, meme coin traders wallet right now, and I'm scrolling through and I'm seeing what he's doing. He was adding AI Doge just 23 minutes ago. He was adding more memes. You can see when he sells. You can see when he swaps. It's really, really cool to be able to go through and track wallets like this in such a nice interface. So DBank is my number one pick for a tracker just because I think it is the best one interface-wise and they're doing an amazing job. So they are on my list. Now, the last, the final, but certainly not the least tool, tool number five that I'm going to show you today is Coinalize. This is probably your ultimate website when you want to find um, changes in open interest. Now, what is a change in open interest? It is the change in the total amount of contracts open in a derivatives market. That is an indicator for you whether people are starting to position themselves either heavily long or heavily short. What I will do is I'll come onto Coinalize and I'll sort by open interest change 24 hours. Then I'll go through the tokens I'll filter the ones out that don't have much volume because they're not great to trade. So these two I would filter out, but I would look at the tokens with a lot of volume and also relatively high market caps, let's say over hundred million. Um, and I would start to look at which tokens have a huge change in open interest. And I would then look into why. So I would chart Celsius and do some TA on it. I would chart Litecoin, I would do TA on it. I would chart Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic. You'll notice some of the coins with the biggest change in open interest are some of the strongest performing coins on the market. And the reason why this is, is because this signals more traders are starting to enter. Now, obviously, th this doesn't mean you just FOMO into trades. You know, if open interest is going up, you shouldn't necessarily FOMO in. It could also mean uh, investors are heavily shorting. But what it does do is give you a nice launch pad, like initial information for you, to, for you to be able to take and apply that to your own trading. So this is more a tool that you can use to spot altcoins. So if you're sitting there and you don't know what to trade and you don't know where to look, if you've ever been in the position where you're scrolling through your trading view and nothing looks good, well, come on to Coinalize, see what's actually trending, and KyberSwap does a good job of this as well, and actually start to check out some of these tokens and see, okay, Ethereum Classic's changing. Why is there an increase in open interest? Did some news come out? Um, are the charts looking good? Are we approaching you know, a major level that we're starting to break? All this kind of stuff can be done once you have open interest data. Similarly, if you click on a coin, you can scroll down and actually see the aggregated open interest alongside the chart. So you can see how the price is moving in tandem with open interest. If price is dropping and open interest is starting to build, well, that's an indicator people are starting to position themselves short. If price is pumping and open interest is building, well, that's a, that's a strong chance people are piling into longs. So it's great to get the data. Also nice to be able to see the funding rate, liquidations, and all that stuff on the one app. So Coinalize is one of my favorite websites for this. And then if if you want to take this data and actually action it and open a trade based on this data, then you can take a trade on an exchange like Prime XBT. So you could go and, and into the trading pair and then you could open a trade based on the change in open interest if the TA does line up in, in a manner in which you want to trade. By the way, if you do want to trade on Prime XBT, we do have a massive $7,000 deposit bonus for you if you sign up using the link in the description with the promo code MILES. So if you do want to trade on Prime XBT, which not only has Bitcoin and Ethereum, but most of the major alts as well as commodities and Forex, so lots of different things you can trade over here, link in the description to trade. It also might be a good option for those of you that have been kicked off another exchange like Bybit due to their new KYC rules. So I know a lot of you are looking for new centralized exchange homes. Prime XBT could be a, a new amazing home for you um, because the interface is good, fees are low. And they also, in addition to our $7,000 bonus, they also have $600 
worth of bonuses if you complete um, some of the basic things here. They have a welcome bonus, they have a verification bonus, um, all sorts of bonuses if you invite friends, etc. for you to earn a bit of money to start. Nothing's better than starting a new exchange um, with some fresh capital to trade with. So yeah, you could pair you know, data from Coinalyze and then open trades based on, on that on your favorite exchange. And PrimeXBT has a link in the description if you would like to trade there. So that is my list of my top five crypto tools. These are the tools that I would use every single day. Now, of course, there's a lot more tools that I do use periodically, like Crypto Calendar. Um, I also have been using Banter Bubbles. I use Masari. Nansen can be fantastic. Arkham. But I don't use all of those necessarily every day. Whereas the five I mentioned in this video, I literally use basically every day uh, that I can, because I think there's always something new to learn on these sites. Like I'm always tracking wallets. I'm always looking at dashboards to see changes in, in data in sectors that I'm interested in. DeFi Llama just has so much information and Kyber AI is always great when you want to open a trade or find a little bit more about the momentum on chain of an altcoin. So there's just so much to do throughout these tools. And I really hope it helps you because I'm pretty sure you know about these tools, but I hope it helps remind you that these tools are available to you and you really should leverage what's at your disposal here. Take some initiative, come up with a routine, whether that's, you know, 10 minutes every morning, every night, um, maybe once every two days you do a half an hour session, just make it part of your routine. It's just like airdrop farming, right? The people that do the best in airdrop farming, it's because they're farming on a routine and they're doing it consistently. Crypto research um, can sometimes be challenging to get the motivation to do it, but just like anything, if you make it a habit, it becomes so much easier to stick to it over time rather than kind of just doing it sporadically. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave the links to the five crypto tools in the description below. And until the next video, I will see you later. Good luck with all your trading. See you in the next one. Peace out.